Hello and welcome to another When I Travel the World video. Today I'm flying British Airways economy class from Dubai to London on a Boeing 787-9. Along with most airlines, British Airways depart from Terminal 1 at Dubai International Airport. Terminal 1 is fairly modern and has some good shopping and lounges to visit during your stay. My flight was departing from gate D6 and I had to take the monorail over to my gate. Boarding was called right on time, but they pretty much called every group all together at the same time, so nothing unusual there. British Airways Boeing 787-9s feature first class, business class, premium economy and economy, and features the most up-to-date versions of British Airways uh, cabin designs and entertainment systems. So the good news is, as of the posting of this video, if you're on a 787, you're gonna get the most up-to-date in-flight entertainment and the newest seats that British Airways have to offer. Today I was sat in seat 31A, which is a regular economy seat with the same amount of legroom as most of the economy seats. The seat is fairly comfortable, but the legroom is a little bit on the short side. I will point out that the IFE box located under the seat in front of you is really restrictive and will cause you to have to twist your leg to get it under the seat in front of you. After seven hours of sitting like that, it's not very comfortable at all. Our flight time to London today was just over seven hours. Shortly afterwards, complimentary headphones are handed out to each of the passengers in economy. The bathroom on the Boeing 787 is nothing to write home about, but there is plenty of space to change in there, change a baby, or just use the toilet in general. Pretty spacious for an economy bathroom. The taxi out to the runway was about 20 to 25 minutes. It took quite a long time, but I've skipped most of that out in this video. British Airways always keep their entertainment system very up to date with the most recent movies and TV shows, so you can always rely on them having good quality content. On all British Airways international long haul flights, you're always offered complimentary spirits, beer, wine, and there's also a hot meal provided on most of the flights as well. Just note that there are no free drinks or food on any of the flights within Europe. 
British Airways have made some improvements to their economy meals since I filmed this video, but as you can see, it's still economy food. Today's lunch was a dubious chicken curry. Uh, the rice was completely overcooked and almost turned into mashed potato. The flight time from Dubai to London is just over seven hours and you are treated to some spectacular views of mountains en route. Really nice to look at and one of the reasons I still love flying. British Airways definitely won't win any awards for their economy product anymore, but they do serve a consistent product with consistently the same food pretty much all year round. And as you can see, another disappointing arrival meal before landing at Heathrow. A Nutri-Grain bar and a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. On the approach to Heathrow, we had to circle two or three times as we approached the runway. Hopefully in a couple of years time as well, when Heathrow has its third runway, this will solve a lot of these circling problems. So I want to say thank you for watching this video. I know it's quite a basic service when it comes to economy trip reports, but at least I could give you an insight into what it's like with British Airways. Special shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting this channel and a special thanks to Michael Armstrong. And also to all of my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. I've got plenty more content on the way and see you again soon.